Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server in West Hill, still in the West Hill River Inn. And we're gonna pick up where we left off yesterday, which is outside working on the back garden and the back wall. And I think I mentioned at the end of the last stream that today we're gonna to start inside the walls here and do a little vegetable garden and maybe a little flower garden and maybe a small sitting area. And then that way we'll be sure that this wall isn't going to move. I don't think it will, but I'd rather work from the inside out and then nudge the wall a block or two if it suits our fancy. And then after that, it'll be the larger task of figuring out the path down to the river. Uh, but we'll do that after. So that's the plan. Blast Jordan, Cosmic Dancer, Jay Christ, and I think I saw Sheep Scalibur and Obu hang hanging around as well. Good to see y'all. Hope you're having a good day. Full of pancakes, full of coffee. More coffee on the way. All right, so we already have a bunch of stuff in our inventory, but we don't need those. Put those there. I think it might be worth switching out all the stone. And I'll worry about those details later. So we'll focus on vegetables and that sort of stuff. Bone meal, coarse dirt we'll need. I'm gonna bring that, that, mushroom, packed mud. And I was thinking we've got soul soil as well as soul sand. We might be able to bring in some red nether stuff as part of um part of a red complementary color. And I was wondering if if um I don't know if I have any. I know where I can get some easy enough. But nether wart would be cool. Coral might be a little bit bright. But we'll see. See what we can come up with. I will need a hoe. Shovel, shears, moss. Coffee is ready as always, says Sheep Scalibur. Yeah, same here. I'm also going to grab some, uh, we'll grab a table and a couple chairs. We might change that to something like birch maybe. Actually, let's just try that just to see what that looks like. I don't even have any of those right now. There's a bunch of different designs in there too. Um, that looks like a bench. That's new, I think, in this this data pack. A little fancy for vanilla Minecraft. Goes a little, little into the modded space. I know it's all technically modded if it, you add stuff to the game, but I try to keep a vanilla vibe here. That feels like an outside chair, I guess. It almost looks a little weathered, you know? And I guess we'll bring a little stone. Oh, and vegetables. I don't know that I have those out here. Potatoes. Beetroot seeds. I don't think we're going to do carrots. We might. And I don't think I want to do any wheat, but I definitely want to try that nether wart. 
It might be worth a little trip just to go get some. Should have thought of that before I loaded up my inventory. I can always bring an extra shulker box or something. Really surprised I don't have any in here. Wait a minute. I can break this down. Ha. Excellent. Little recipe data packs are fun. I think that's it. As the weather today, uh, it is gray and miserable. We are getting snow into 25 to 50 millimeters of rain overnight. It's going to be a stormy, gross weekend, which is perfectly fine for a recovery day and um, and playing Minecraft. To clarify, I mean recovery from the gym. I didn't, it's not like I went on a bender last night. I just, I had a heavy workout yesterday. It was chest and shoulders, which is just a lot of weight to throw around for me. So, vegetable garden. And let's just eliminate this path for now. And we'll put it back around the garden. I don't remember what was supposed to be there. Maybe we can put some gravel there or something. Maybe the packed mud. Looks a little bit like sawdust. So I'm thinking we could probably do a patch there and then something like that. The path. Hmm. So this is probably going to be flowers there. So let's put down the good. Let's just use brown concrete for now. Just to say, like, that's the flower bed. You'll come out the door. Well, maybe not there. And there'll be a flower bed there. And maybe the path goes this way. So then we could have that be path. This is going to have to be kind of more work area, people coming and getting uh, wood and stuff. Hmm. I think this is probably going to be better off stone, you know, now that I think about it. Plus it'll help in the visualization. Flowers, I think we have to do a little bit more with the roses. Uh, I would like to have a little bit more with the the blue A's as well. But same idea as we had out front, which might affect that. The, with the blue A in the window, I feel like having some blue A down here would be good. 
think that's all right. I'm a little concerned. It's not going to feel going to feel too straight. We don't have a lot of room. Maybe I could put another pressure plate there. Hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of space. I think by putting this at an angle, I think I'm really limiting what I could do here. So it might be better to have a straight path in here. may have to sacrifice this and move it to there. We'll see. Uh, but as far as the garden stuff goes, if we do, what would be a good color to see up front? Probably potatoes down there. And maybe A little patch of maybe this is where the nether work could be. Can you do it on soul soil or is it only soul sand? I should know this. It's only soul sand. Such a creepy noise. Oops, wrong tool. Those we just have to wait. The rows are a little boring. That's the only issue that I have. I almost want to switch this. We might have make some small adjustments here. Yeah, I think it would be more interesting if I sacrifice that. I guess with this path here, we don't necessarily need uh, a path on both sides, but I guess it makes sense. So what I'm thinking here is we change this here. Oh, then it's a diagonal. That doesn't work either. I have to lose a carrot. Is there anything that you can put in the vegetable garden that would be something that, that could be hung from a fence? You know? I'm just thinking that it would be cool if I could put potatoes here. Did I use all my potatoes? I used all my potatoes. Well, I guess I can just harvest those. Hmm. 
Yeah, see, I feel like this would be better off as its own thing. I guess, you know, it's not bad. I usually like to have uh, no diagonal connections, but that feels, that still feels like you could walk in between there. And it creates a more interesting thing happening here. I want to do something else in the back corner, though. Instead of potatoes back there, I want to do something different. And we don't have any other vegetables that we could actually do. What did I get the hanging roots from? Do you get hanging roots from rooted dirt if you use a hoe on it? You do? I didn't know that. Did anybody else know that? That's interesting. I thought you had to bone meal it. A fern as a herb. That's a good idea. Yeah. And I need, I need to break up that green. Word Nerdify, good to see you. Insane value, welcome back. Fern, 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 fern. There's a fern. And I'll bring a couple of those and a couple of those. The pitcher plants don't really look like anything. Oh, I wanted one of those. I might end up making this oak, but I thought it would be kind of fun to try out a uh, mangrove gate here. I think either could work, but we'll try that for now. Might as well leave it open. Right, so we'll do... Can I plant this on farmland? I can. Oh, it's in the back corner. That's annoying. Well, that was a good idea. Maybe we'll try back here instead. Oh, it just goes back to normal. Maybe this ends up being another bush. Nope, crap, I knew that was gonna happen. Hit boxes are too close. Oh, is that my last fern? Crap. Azalea bush would look too flat and not transparent enough. What are you working on for a print, a Grandpa Crafter? Are you printing something specific? I used to print books, so I sort of have a working knowledge. That could have worked out better. Maybe we'll extend that and do that there. No, this space is just really not good for flowers. Maybe that's enough.
That's not terrible. I guess we could extend this. Oh, that's not a self-touch hoe. I keep on forgetting. Hmm. That's pretty good. I heard you coming. Does anybody know off the top of their head what the range on creepers is? That would be that would be a fun way to keep creepers in the game exactly as you want as they are but add a data pack that would make them almost blind. Like they wouldn't be able to see you unless they were two blocks away. I guess the problem there is that if you don't see it, then you'd have zero time to run away. It's a custom box for a special project. I've been back and forth with these guys on ironing with the details all week. Oh, cool. So obviously we'll texture this to be something different. I like the look of this little garden. It feels very functional. It doesn't feel like it's oversized. The potatoes are a little bit bright, as are the carrots. Well, I mean, everything's a little bit bright, I guess. I sort of want... I sort of want the... the... Um, red... beetroot. See, it balances out the roses. That's why I wanted to do it. It just... I don't like it as a square. I kind of want to do something more back there. I guess I could remove one, change the soul sand to, to soul soil, and maybe put like a red mangrove button there as if it's like a bud or something. That could be kind of cool. The problem with crops, of course, is that you can't keep them from developing and growing. I think that needs to be coarse dirt. Maybe that needs to be darker. Yeah, that's better. Maybe I'll switch those. more contrast between the farmland and the outside blocks here. Yeah. Okay. So if that's going to be one little flower bed, then I would imagine the seating area would be sort of like here. Those used to make a noise when you did that. And then we could have another flower there. And this would probably end up being like textured, like an offshoot here. I don't have the right gray bricks for it. But then the other flower garden 
I guess would only be separated by a little bush and then we'll do another one here. And I don't know if I just want more of the same. Maybe this needs to be more white stuff. Really, I guess it depends on where the extra flowers are, but I don't have any, so. This has actually come together pretty quick. Red coral fans, that's a good idea. Oh, how did I do that over at... I think I used pink, but I did some coral fans over here too. So these are waterlogged slabs. We've got coarse dirt slabs in a data pack. Also, different color combinations. Oh, I could do vines hanging from trapdoors. That's what I wanted to do. That could save, save uh, our lighting problems too. There's a red, I kind of like that. Next to the roses. Although maybe we need something that's more of a complementary color. The yellow is a little bit on the bright side. That might look good next to blue A. Sometimes these texture packs go a little overboard with the 3D. It could be simpler. You can use waterlog mangrove roots as well. Interesting. I don't really think that that would... I mean, that's cool that you can do that, but I don't know if that would really work here because it would look like a little water patch. Uh, yeah, I think maybe having maybe even just one of them and then have stuff in front of it. I want to find out where the, the data pack for our fancy flowers is going to be, so I'm going to grab a bunch of these blue A flowers. Uh, I think we're done with the carrots. And a wart. Did I leave the coral out? No. I think those are probably our best bet. We could also use sea pickles under moss carpet for lighting later on. I also wanted gravel. And a little bit of this. Yay for full inventories. I guess we're done with those. download a texture pack that randomly adds flowers to vines. They're okay a bit samey, but they add something extra. That's a cool idea too, especially if it's random and not like a pattern. Do I have glowberries anywhere? Yes. So this might be a little bit small. 
maybe we can do it if we use part of the wall. It's going to be really tiny. Do I just add more? No. Yes, there we go. Shears. Those give off like a light level of something crazy like 15, right? We may only need one of those. The birch kind of clashes a bit. I might want to come up with a different way of doing that. All right, so it looks like we want to try to put our little flowers there. So maybe we can do, oh, I didn't bring any roses. Oh, they're taller. Uh, well, they won't be as bright if we put them in the back. But then, of course, these are not the places to put the uh, small flowers. Right. Darn it. I guess I could put them in the back. I was thinking that the roses would be good to have um, because you'd be able to see them over the wall from the front. So there is still that concern of what this might look like from the other road. People, welcome in. The unique username. Okay. I feel like having a couple of roses like right here would make sense. Uh, that's not as tucked in the corner as I thought they were going to be. So maybe we can squeeze them around. No, I like that bush where it is though. Okay. Um, can we get away with red down here as well? I think the yellow might work. Maybe if I put the yellow over here. problem with having nice grass in your rivers is that it's hard to get a bucket of water sometimes. Do all the flowers have to be inside the walls? Uh, no, that's a good question too. Um, I would imagine it would look kind of funny to have 
like these pruned rose bushes outside the walls. I think outside the walls I'm going to do more uh, bushes and and ferns and things like this kind of stuff. Might look a little bit strange to have so much going on. Although, you know, that's not bad. These look remarkably similar. Plus, you could remember I'm I'm likely gonna put some slabs back there. So it'll help have it stand out a little bit. I'm I'm still not sold on that. I feel like we need to have a stone wall there. Probably better off having smooth stone there. Yep. You were wondering if the coral might be too bright, but it works well. Yeah, I think having the glow berries helps with that. Oh, I've got the torch there too, which I don't need. This is gonna be very very mossy back here. That's pretty good. I feel like I need something else here. I wonder if this pressure plate would be better off. Don't have the room in my inventory. All right, we can get rid of some stuff, I guess. Maybe gravel here. Yeah, that works, I guess. Actually, we could probably put a carpet there. Oh, next to the pressure plate, that's weird. 
That's annoying because I like that. Um, hmm. No, nope, pressure plate does look good there. I didn't realize that flowing water gave off some animation as well and it sticks around unfortunately so i may have to reconsider this mod because when you pick up the water it doesn't go away oh come on now I'm just mad. I'm trying to do that quickly. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of that mod. I don't remember what was there. That was not how that went. Oh, I forgot that the water over here is going to saturate the farmland over there. That's annoying. Thankfully, that water didn't turn any of the concrete powder into concrete. Those are carrots, carrots, beetroot, beetroot. Nothing else got tipped over there. Am I able to disable this live? Uh, wakes in running water off. That's incorrect. Man, a lot of settings. Is there? <sighs> Spawn particles. Maybe it's the particles. Really, folks, if you're going to have this many settings. Then just have an on off switch. My gosh. I, that's one of the beefs I have with some of these mods is that they. They have so many settings, it just makes it so confusing. The person that wrote it knows what they mean. And they have little explanations, but like it's still not, unless you're someone that works with mods, it's not like it's going to be intuitive. All right, let's try just turning off particles. Nope. Okay. Maybe I'll remove the mod on my break. Sometimes these things look cool to add a little bit of flavor, but then you realize quickly later on, you're like, nope, actually, that's uh, it's a bit much. 
And I think I had Blue A back here. I like gravel and uh, rooted dirt next to each other. Something feels off over here. Oh, we need some andesite, I think. That's probably what it is. So this feels full, but it doesn't feel like you're having to tiptoe around everything, which is good. I'm not sure about the birch. And it might be good to have some of these, like one of these offset, more than likely... Uh... I think maybe this one. I wonder if it would look good facing the other way. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. I find that I don't step on the pressure plates when I'm walking through the path. I find that I step on the pressure plate when I'm like looking around, checking my build. That's when I find I step on it the most. Oh, there's a trapdoor there. That might actually get turned into acacia. Oh, there's a pressure plate there. Ugh. Hit boxes, man. So frustrating. What else did I need? And a site. This feels very dark. Oh, walls. I might be better off as a as a stone wall or a darker wall maybe. It's 
a little bit better. I feel like I want something else here. If I move that, we could put something else back there. Move the campfire there. I wonder if that would crowd that space too much. The backup and review pressure plate uh, doesn't have the same ring to it as the backup and review platform. No, you're that's fine. Same acronym, so you're welcome. That works out. So we didn't do uh, slabs over here. I'm realizing we just did pressure plates. And I think I like that. I don't think I'd want a big high wall back here. They actually help a little bit. It feels a little bit weird next to this moss, so maybe we'll get rid of this. I mean, we could also just increase the height of that. Actually, that works quite well. Maybe that one could bleed over here. probably fine the way that it was. Or could add some andesite. Anybody else walk eight blocks before they go in their inventory looking for something just because it's easier? Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Well, that's well-timed because I think we're pretty done here. I just have to regrow some of this stuff. So yeah, this little space here needs some work. It feels very barren. This feels okay. I don't think I want to do anything with, like, grass. Right? Like, I feel like that's just too... too much. I mean... Double the height's not good, but even just single grass, I think, would feel a little overgrown. Yeah. Coral is something I need to do a lot more of. I, it's you've, you, Your brain thinks it's going to be too bright, right? Uh, this is all lit up very well, thanks to the glow berries, except for over here. So over here, we're going to need a lantern somewhere that might actually help with this staircase we could probably put something on a on a pole here i 
think that'll work. And yep, I think that'll be good out of the corner of your eye. And I think I think we leave both the glow berries. Like I don't think we need to remove them. I think they help with the yellow. It's on a top block space. The only thing that might help there, which is unfortunately going to break the glowberries, would be to put slabs there and see what that might look like. Just to kind of give it a little bit more of an arc. All right. I am going to step away on that break. If you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to refresh my coffee. Maybe grab a snack. You should too. Grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming. I will be right back.
All right. I think I can get rid of all the dirt blocks. I think we're done with a lot of this. Yeah, just curious as to what we could do. That space is taken up by the trapdoor. I have one idea that I could do here. It just means getting another mini block. Uh, how are people feeling about the birch? Do they like the birch table? No. Man, these guys come out of everywhere. Couple of skeletons, free bone meal, I guess. All right, don't need those. You're just gonna make creepy noises until I get rid of you. Grass, moss, bush. I don't know why I collect arrows. I guess if I ever want to put them in a dispenser or something. Those... I wanted to try a couple of slabs and mini blocks. Do I have a stripped mini block anywhere? Rooster Mug says the birch is good. Looks like outdoor furniture to you. I think the only other options would be something really crazy like quartz. Not what I'm looking for. Okay. Bamboo. I don't like the way that bamboo looks out in the world. I I really find it very yellow. I have a I have a same opinion of bamboo that I do of vanilla. Um. We uh hay bales. It's like snot. I don't have any stripped log mini blocks. That's interesting. I wonder if those even exist. They must. Regular logs. Jungle logs. Hmm. I wonder when they redo the way that player heads will retain their 
value if there I wonder if there's a way to um to to um like file to sort these automatically that would be cool yeah okay well I've got one of these already I think I'm done with the blue A's as well. Oh, I'm going to need more glow berries if I'm going to try this test. Maybe use a regular size, but in an armor stand. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's try that too. I don't have the room to do that. <laughs> I I laugh, but I really do find it frustrating how little um, you end up carrying around when you when you do decorating. Like it's just frustrating. Okay, so armor stand. So well, here's what a regular log would look like there. A little bit the same. I would probably use the spruce one. Oh, come on. Clay brick, so easy. Or not clay, mud. Uh, so yeah, it would probably be something like that. A little bit seamy. That's why I wanted to do a stripped one. But to your point, if I give, uh, I don't think I want to do stripped. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't think I'd want to do a stripped spruce log. That means there's going to be two armor stands here, which is wild. Why did that go down? No gravity. What's going on? Is it in the basement? Is that what's going on? No to gravity. There we go. This is a good way to get exploded. Yeah, I don't remember seeing a strip mini block myself either. I feel like I've done this before. I think at the other farm, I mean, I know what I'm going to do is pretty straightforward. It's not like it's genius. I'm just putting an ax in a chopping block. I think that's okay. Not too much. Um, so I'm going to rotate it. No other way.
before I do this, I think I want to see, I think I want a lighter block there. I'm going to give it a stripped. Well, here, let's go look at the other one that I did. I feel like I used stripped. Um, I did. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's just a regular block. So, I mean, spoiler. <laughs> I think pr people probably figured out that's what I was doing anyway. Uh, yeah, let's grab a different block then. And yes, yeah, if it was a mini block, I could get a really interesting scale because if you give the mini block, let's see if I can go downstairs and check it out because this is smaller than a block. But if you give a mini block, I don't know if that's what I did downstairs or not. This might be a full size block. Yeah. So if you give a mini block to an armor stand and then change it into the head, it gets like this weird, slightly bigger than a mini block scale. And that would have been perfect, but I don't have a stripped version of a mini block. Maybe they don't exist. I don't know. They could be rare. I know that they added some rarity to the data pack to make it more interesting. Uh, nudge will bring it up by eight because I'm going to need to see the arms. That's 16. I'm not sure if that's kind of in the way or not. You know, I don't know if I like the rotation. I, I think I might like it square. Yeah. I think we'll do that way. Too far away. So now my next, so you can't jump on it. Um, I'm wondering if I move the campfire That gives a cooler vibe there, and then we'd have extra room here to make this patch more interesting, and then I could put something else maybe in that space. I think that'll be more fun. And then I just need to figure out what to put there. Maybe again, and I'll do that soul soil with a button. Welcome in Jiva. Good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, that can go maybe in there. I guess we could put in tri crimson roots. No room. Well, the mini blocks can go away. I don't need either one of those.
and Jiva subscribed. Thanks for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. I didn't even hear the notification. Come to think of it, I'm not sure if I've heard any notifications from from uh, Streamlabs today. Oh, I didn't bring any soul soil. This may not work, but we'll see. Crimson Roots, I think, can they go on anything? Cosmic, you would know the answer to this. Does it have to be Nether Rack or Nylium for Crimson Roots? Oh yeah, sound alerts work. Thank you, Cosmic, for the 100 bits. <laughs> That's not terrible, you know. Uh, probably better facing it that way. Pose adjust, uh, right arm. That was a good guess. Has to be Nihilium? Okay, thanks. That's too bad. We could sneak it back there, but... Yeah, that's more interesting, I think. I think maybe I'll change the button. Well, no, I want to be able to see it. This just feels very empty, but there's a trapdoor there that I like, so I can't really do much back there outside of maybe change the block. Maybe we'll go coarse dirt instead. Just feels a little bit bright. Yeah, that's better. Man, night time again. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Hey, thanks for the lurk, CJ. Appreciate it. And thank you for the kind words. I'm glad that people can find some inspiration from the stuff that I do. I think that's why I tune into certain certain people on YouTube or Twitch, it's because of, um, it's because of getting inspired. Is that what I had there before people remember? Or was it a fern maybe? I feel like that space was really bad for plants. Yeah, that's what it was. So it was probably, probably a bush. Okay. I am going to call that side done. 
we are a little low on stuff out here. I think I wanted to put a wall there. I also wanted to try a regular wall in here. I'm going to be very careful. Yeah, I like that better. I could almost use a green, like a mossy one. Do mossy walls exist? I feel like they do. Time flies when you're playing with all the fiddly details and struggling with your inventory. Yeah, that's it. That's the truth. That is the truth there. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. So, unfortunately, this is going to break this, but I might be able to do this fast enough. We'll see. Nope, not even close. Do I even want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, I won't do both sides to test it. I'll just leave it. That's fine. I guess I could try. It just feels very boring. I'm wondering if I used an oak trapdoor. Feels more like a trellis, maybe. Oh, I should have snipped that first. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Yeah, more interesting. Still not sure about the birch, but everything else is going to feel too dark, I think. I don't know what else they added to the new data pack. I know I've got some quartz hanging out here. I feel like these might feel too fancy. Yeah, it feels a little bit, I mean, it's cool. It would be great for a balcony chair in like a modern city, but I don't think, I mean, it does work for medieval fantasy, but in in some richy type area, you know, like a palace or something, but not, don't think for what I'm doing, it's working. There's also a different style of chair that has a different back to it. Maybe that's the thing we should try. Oh, those have got like a stripped look to them. Maybe that's the better way to go. Sometimes they just, they get right on the texture, but then they go really heavy overboard on the model. And I find that when you go overboard on the model, it doesn't look as good in vanilla when you're trying to make it look like vanilla. Yeah, I like those better. Yeah, like, it doesn't need to be that fancy in there, you know? I like this texture, though. That's much better than what we had before. Yeah, the the um, 
the white one could kind of be both. It could be like a painted white wooden chair, or it could be, like you said, kind of plasticky or, or metal. And that's where I think I feel it looks more like something would be better off on a balcony in a modern city. I'm actually looking forward to getting back into doing some work in the modern city. All right, let's do a double check so I can dump some stuff out of my inventory and the pain will stop. And then we can start to work on the exterior of the wall. Uh, that's going to be a, a acacia, I think. None of that can change because it's all got plants on it. You know, I think that's pretty good. I think we did a decent, decent job. I wonder if it might be worth switching these. It doesn't look as cool. But I'm not going to step on it as much. I'm calling those done. And now I'm going to focus on the outside here, which means I can get rid of all the dirt blocks in my inventory. I don't think that there's really anything to compare cosmic. Your gardens are massive. Like that's, that's a different, it's a whole different beast altogether. I like your, I like your gardens. I have too many shulker boxes, which is not something that I'd ever think I would hear myself saying. We'll probably have to come back to this eventually with more dirt, but for now, I'm happy to move on. That should be good. Have I ever used Conquest Reforged? I have not used it to build with it, but I think that the texture pack that they use on Minecraft Middle Earth is very similar. It's custom but I think it was built on Conquest Reforged or certainly inspired by Conquest Reforged. So I've certainly spent a lot of time walking around that one time I went into that server looking at it. I, I find it with those texture packs that change Minecraft considerably. It's a whole other skill set. It's a whole other building skill set. Like you just, you've, 
you think, oh, you know, it would look really good here, uh, netherrack, and you're like, but that doesn't exist because it's it's made into a completely different texture. So, I feel like it's a, it's a entirely different beast. Did I not bring any green? I didn't bring any green. You always forget one block. Oh, it's because I ran out. I didn't forget at all. Never mind. Uh, I need to make more. That's going to be tiresome. Uh, it's green. Sand. That was my toenails. Need to get a couple of other, maybe a cobblestone texture or something. Once again, missing the old crack slabs. switch some of this around what I try to do when I'm doing texturing I try not to line up blocks with each other too much but that feels a little repetitive maybe we'll put a cobble slab there yeah I feel like cobble slab is something I'm missing. And now we're full again. No, it was better the other way. Right, and then in here, I was thinking Acacia. 
for the bottoms here. Now, I don't think I want to mess with those too much, but I might want to put rooted dirt underneath that one. So I'll leave that there for now. Uh, but this, I want to carefully remove. This is also going to feel like a shadow underneath the vine, which is going to work well. I don't think I want that to be higher. No, I like that one. We could honestly probably go up here. Unless this looks a little bit... Oh, I can't put one there anyway. Okay, so I would have left it Acacia if I could put a carpet there, but... Or not Acacia, I would have left it Azalea if I could have put a carpet there. But I think we'll do, do that, and then I don't have scaffolding, so we'll just use dirt. And we'll bring you up here. Uh, I don't know if I want to go too much farther. Maybe just to there is fine. But to connect it, because it's acacia, we can use the carpet. Now, how does that look from over here? A little skimpy. And that seam is kind of obvious. Maybe we will change this. Yeah, that's better. This now feels like it's under the shadow of the roof, right? So darker leaf block, lighter leaf block. And that's acacia as well. Yeah, I don't think I want that climbing up there. Although I guess I could maybe bop it out that way. Yeah, that's more fun. Now on the other one, I think I added flowering a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that. The nether rack on the roof works really well. Thanks, yeah, I think so too. Guess I don't need trap doors right now. Yeah, I think it was the new texture update when Netherrack became usable. And then they added Mangrove, and Mangrove and, and Netherrack go well together. Now, I might not put that carpet back. We'll see how this looks. Maybe I put it on the other one. No, I like that. Okay. Um, dirt. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right. One last thing, and then we're done inside there, which is great.
Campbell's time to sleep. Might as well. One dot twenty one is is the Joel cracked stairs and slabs update. Yeah, I think one of the reasons they haven't done stuff like that is because of the amount that it adds to the inventory. Like it just it continues to to bloat and um in a good way like people always want new blocks and it's always a good thing and people are always happy about that but then you end up with this problem that no one really thinks about right away it's only until you go to to use the stuff that you're like wait a minute this may not look good Actually, you know, I think I want it for both of those now that I look at that. Looks so good, I want to use it twice. I removed the uh, mod, by the way, the wakes mod. Wasn't worth it for the visuals it was giving me and the fact that most of the time you're first person, so you can't see the own your own splash marks and stuff. There was a mod that I saw in all of Fabric 5 that had a similar effect but it wasn't for like it was just for items going into water i don't think it was wakes i think it was something else the graphics were better on the one in all of fabric 5 so maybe i'll go look for that yeah it provides a little bit of a different vibe there which is good i guess i could have done something similar back there too Okay, back garden finished. So now it's just finishing up the textures out here. I feel like that's pretty solid. Now we have to travel down this way. That's going to be tricky. And the other thing, of course, is the outside of the wall. But I don't know about this section. Like, this feels like a large kind of area of grass that's not used at all. So I'm thinking there would be some sort of path. So if I was coming this way, and I wanted to go to the back garden here, I feel like there would probably be an offshoot path right about here. Because you'd want to go around the rock, right? This is where the map comes in very handy. So you're coming from this direction. I don't know if you would go up here. That could feel kind of natural too, I guess. But you'd say, all right, I want to go down to the river or the back door. I guess you wouldn't go up this way, right? But we could also put some stuff here, like bushes. That would make it feel like you can't go that way. Oops. 
Oops. I feel like that's probably good. And then that might... Yeah, that might make you think, okay, well, if you can see the path, you're not going to go this way necessarily. You'd probably go down and around. Although this, I think, would then widen out and become more of a staircase that would then curve in both directions. worry about texture later. Yeah, I think that, that feels pretty good. So I don't think we have to do much with these top two tiers. I think they're going to stay roughly where they are. This might get a little bit thinner. It might be nicer to have more of a view. So we might like take this back a block a little bit. Same thing here. The real difficult part is going to be figuring out the, the way to get down there. I think what I need to do first, and I talk about this a lot, usually when you're trying to figure out a path, from one place which would be here the rear of the of the inn and you want to have you know it go down here to be some sort of nice little riverfront thing build this first and then do the in-between and i find having builds in point a and point b really help you figure out what to do with c which is what's happening in between um, now, I don't think I want this to be a stone path. I feel like this would be more of a, of a dirt path with some stone mixed in. I did a little bit of that on, I think I did it on this other road over here. Yeah, so stuff like this maybe with a little bit, little bit of stone coming in. I feel like there were other places I did this. Maybe, maybe a little bit there. And then I think maybe the fishing village at the south part. Yeah, more stuff like this, I think, would look good. This is where texture packs, you know, we were talking about Conquest Reforged. This is where I feel like Minecraft has a little bit, it lacks a bit. Also, I need to fix those beehives. Sweet berries, unfortunately, don't look good in Sunflower Plains. They've got the wrong coloring. I wish that sweet berries changed with the biomes. They would still look good in taiga biomes, and then they would look good in other biomes, too. The other thing I have to figure out is this tree as well.
Yeah, that feels very, very impassable. Maybe says don't go this way. Stream is at two hours. Thanks, Cosmic. It might be time for another break. Sun is setting. Probably a decent time to do that. Cool. Once again, folks, I step away once an hour. Gives me an opportunity to grab a stretch. Refresh the old water in the coffee, and I will be right back.
So as I was coming back, I tried to sleep and there was a monster too close to this bed. So there's a spider somewhere and I heard a creeper walking across pressure plates. So the fact that we're sleeping out here and there's not a lot of light is not a great situation. Here's the spider. How close is that creeper going to be able to get? That's not fun. Uh, let's go. I don't think there's anybody actually in here. I did shut the doors. Yeah, Joel is smart. There's definitely... I can hear them on all sides. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump off the balcony. I really don't feel like having any of this blow up. Thanks very much, creepers. Yeah, I'll get a view. I don't know if that was far enough. Survey says yes. Cool. So I guess the next step would be to work on, I guess, the tiers. So this tier up here. Is pretty good. I mean, we just need to add like little bits of stuff here and there. Oh, not that. Might even be fun to have a um, cobble slab there. Yeah. Thank you, Cosmic. I find this such a nice trick, being able to soften up the edges of these all dirt sides. Did I bring regular slabs? I didn't. I guess andesite will do. I'm not sure whether to just do the whole thing or what. I guess I had that as concrete powder. Might be able to get away with lowering this. Nope. That's better. The rain again, right? It never ceases. 
It rains so much on the server. Okay. I'm not so worried about this path. This is going to be something we do after we finish the rock. So I want to focus on the wall. Now that we're this far. I don't want it to get confused with the rock. So we'll keep this green spot happening. In between everything. It might be better actually to have grass here. Keeps the separator. Yep. That maybe. It would be nice to be able to do that, but then the rock might get a little confused. So maybe we'll just strip this out. Swap that out for some andesite, and then I gotta double check that looks okay inside. Yep. These would probably be mossy. And do I want to add some height here? Maybe. Again, I want to check this. Yeah, I think that creates a better border between the bush and the chimney. This space is going to be interesting. Probably want to bring this whole bush around. And... These are acacia. Sorry, azalea. The falling leaves from the tree now and then help it feel alive? Yeah, I think so too. I, I'd See, that's a very simple mod that I think kind of adds in the spirit of vanilla without don't going too crazy, you know? do I not need not using the bone meal a heck of a lot nor am I using the walls I can come back with those
Now it's a thunderstorm because I'm sleeping before it's time. So I want this to feel like you can walk by. I don't necessarily want to do it all the time, but. That looks pretty good. Maybe instead we'll do carpet there. Yeah. Now back here, I don't think this needs to be azalea. I think we can probably come up with a good way to have something back in here. Maybe we'll have some rooted dirt here. And then I think it might be worth going with a little tough there. With the rain, I found that you can sleep when the clock says anything after 1800. Oh, so that's what it is. It's because the light level is dark enough, maybe. Uh, I have to move this back. I think I'm gonna use some roots. Uh, what kind of keyboard did you use? That is on the about page on Twitch. It is a coarse hair, low profile. I don't remember the model number, but it's a nice LED keyboard. And no, I didn't make it myself. I'm not a keyboard nerd in that way. I just, uh, I just prefer, I, I've used, for the longest time before I got my gaming PC, I, and I still have a Mac, uh, but I have those like really low profile chiclet keyboards on the Mac. And I found that PC keyboards were far too large for me. That feels a little strange, but we'll go with it for now. So yeah, I um I wanted a keyboard that would be close to what I wanted. Yeah, this feels kind of like a castle. I'm not sure why I had to do that. Maybe this has to be stone. Whoops. Yeah, that's better.
So I think that does a nice job. I don't think it's going to interfere with our views around the back here. No, you can see it a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, what is it? A K, K, K70 RGB MK2 low profile keyboard. Yeah, like I knew the name was like huge. I'm not sure why these companies can't just call them, you know, just cars. Think about all the different crazy numbers uh, of models of cars. And some of the most recognizable don't have numbers or letters in them. They're just like, you know, a Lamborghini, you know, insert name here. Countach, you know, or a, or a car that's just called like a Sierra or something, you know, Corvette. I know that some of them have like numbers and designations and stuff, but like, I feel like with keyboards and all that kind of stuff, you, you could just really set yourself apart from the market by calling it, you know, something, some cool marketing name. Sure. But at least that way, um, people wouldn't have to remember a string of numbers that goes for all computer parts, you know, the Corsair Phantom. Sure. Yeah. Like why not? Right. And if you wanted to keep the Phantom, but you wanted to update it, you know, and, and increase the different features of it, like call it the Phantom 2, the Phantom 3, I mean, sure. But at least then people would know the Phantom is the keyboard I have. I like the Phantom. If the Phantom 2 comes out, then I would consider getting that because that sounds awesome. You know, like that, that to me just makes sense. So the next obstacle obviously is this crummy custom tree that I threw together quickly that I need to fix. But I think I want to focus on the rock for now but that came together quite quickly i'm i'm happy with that that might be a little bit bright maybe we just do regular regular bricks there yeah i think i like that better oh right i forgot about this Oh, we haven't finished that wall either. Crap, we're not going to get to the river today at all. Now, where do we need lanterns? I kind of like the andesite wall. After seeing Pix's custom keyboard, I have to say I'm pretty tempted to put together your own. I mean, sure, if it's something that you really enjoy. I don't find that I get a lot of you know, tactile enjoyment. I wanted a quiet keyboard because I did not want it to be something that people heard all the time when I was streaming. That to me makes sense. I'll get to see it kind of popping up over there, which is nice. And it's getting to be nighttime, so we get to test to see where we need the other one. Somewhere over here, obviously. That one's okay. I think... can't decide if I want to go up like that. That actually does look pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, 
think we're fine that way. So then we need somewhere over here. I would say I don't want to put it in front of the window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't want to put it there. Where do we put the next lantern? I guess we could put it on the wall, couldn't we? What if, oh no, these are slabs, crap. I thought it would look good right there, but that's a problem. Here's our other problem. <laughs> like this just expands, this goes all the way to that light. Until that starts to affect it, this whole area is just dark. Uh, hmm. Where do we want to put another lamppost? I feel like it has to be before we see that one. So it has to be here somewhere. Yeah. We can see all this in the daytime anyway. Maybe right there would be good. Well, that takes care of the path. Let's uh, take a flight and see what this looks like at night. I just got shot out of the air. Skeletons, man. The aim is pretty solid. It's not bad. Zombie. It's a little bright. I really wish I didn't have to have such a bright, bright light out there. Glow Watts, hello, hello. Phantom keyboard would act up if you're not sleeping regularly. Well played, I see what you did there. So many zombies. Skeleton. Okay. I think I'll leave that there for now. It also does help kind of push you to the left a little bit too. But that at least lights up almost everything. We're going to have to have another light down here somewhere, but that's far enough away from that one that we can probably put one here. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like maybe there would make sense. Although that's kind of in the way. Maybe we'll push it back to here. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to finish up the shape on this rock. Because it's very basic Minecraft looking. And I do have slabs now.
Hmm. That's not bad to change this, though. Uh, do I want that to change? Yeah, leave that that way. Maybe we'll add some andesite over here. What I really need is a stair, I think, there. And maybe one there, too. Take the free bones. I haven't really been using the ferns much. Ren of the Shadows. That's a fun username. Thanks very much for the follow. And Sam U. L. Jackson. <laughs> I see what you did there. And thanks very much for the follow as well. Mm, maybe the other way. Yeah, that's better. And then this one can go back this way. Oh, uh, but then we have that problem. That's right, maybe that way. I like that. Let's get rid of this. That looks pretty good. Wish there was a way. Maybe we'll just remove this one. Now I need andesite stairs. Let 
Pixelriffs recommended you in a recent stream. Well, that's nice of him. <laughs> Pix and I have been buddies for a while. Well, thanks for coming by. You know that I do the spawn chunks with Pixelriffs, right? That's that's me. I feel like I sound the same here and on the spawn chunks. Do I maybe want to wrap this around to here? Yes. Yes, I do. Not that far, though. I think that works. Oh, not there. Maybe even farther away. Final placement to be due, to be determined by what this tree ends up looking like. Wow. Dark, 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 dark. This might be a good spot. Or another one of these. Oh, so close. Where did it go? So that might not be the final placement, but yeah, it's a little in the way. I'd like, to, we have to come up with maybe a different solution there. Something we could do is maybe throw in a little bit of glow lichen or something along here somewhere behind this stuff that might help with that last little bit. This number, these number of ones here. We could also just put a lantern on this side of the street, which would probably be a little bit better. That feels kind of in the way. Wait, you do podcasts? Yep, that's me. Well, I don't think I've forgotten anything, but I think that's a wrap on the West Hill Inn, the West Hill River Inn. Everything else now is more road, path, like surrounding area that I wouldn't necessarily consider part of this build. So we can start a new, a new series of streams. But in the last little while, we have finished up the front gardens. Uh, oh, I lied. We're not done. That's right. We'll finish. I'll, I'll fix that. Um worth walking around i guess to double check that i've not forgotten anything and i'm seeing some opportunities here as well forget how easy moss is to break So yeah, outsides all done. Oh, I haven't done the wall. Never mind, we're not finished. <laughs> I got overconfident. I thought I was done. I think we're done on what I was working on though. All of this feels fine. These are a little even. Maybe this could use a little spice. A little variety. A 
I like that better. It's always weird when they go into the block like that. Not done. Twelve hour stream. Yeah, I hope not. So I'm not. I'm not going to worry about this. I, I want to. I want to do. I'll do this with the path because the path is obviously going to be not path block but full blocks. So I'll be able to do some things with like carpet along here. But I'm going to call that another project. Same thing with the tree. The tree and the path. I think is maybe what we'll work on next. I wouldn't mind putting a lantern on that just so it looks a little bit more uniform. I know we've not messed around in anything inside, so where this is the last kind of stream inside here, we've got some cool stuff happening in here. There's candles hidden underneath that carpet that light up and make that glow like that. I'll turn on the shaders, I guess. And then we've got details around here. Lots of stuff going on in the kitchen. Unfortunately, with my shaders, the candles are super bright. I need to figure out how to fix that. We've got basement with the secret passage that will eventually hook up to the river, but I've got to do the river side stuff first. We've got a nice little reading nook. This is one of my favorite little kind of happy accidents in this build. I quite like this. Sorry, my frame rate's dropping. Little bedrooms upstairs. And then today we finished the back garden, which in the morning is very bright. <laughs> wow. So we've got a little seating area. We've got some hanging vines. We've got uh, different coral bits, roses, vine going up under the roof. And then we've got a little armistrand trickery here with some wood chopping. We've got some nether wart carrots, beetroot, potatoes herbs was someone's idea for the burn, which I like. All of this works pretty well. I'm really happy with this, actually. This turned out quite well. And these are growing on me. These things I was fighting about with my brain yesterday, I quite like them now. We've got all the textures done. We've got an extra light now over here, which keeps all of this spawn-proof. I mean, just over there it's deadly, but at least in here it's fine. And we haven't done the texture on that yet either, so I need to go get some brown blocks. And we'll fix that. Yeah, it's very bright this time of day with the shaders until it gets to past noon. Very, very bright. Okay, I think I'm done with the bushes. Keep the moss and the carpets. And I'll put back stairs. I just need to get my other blocks out here. So we'll do that. And mangrove wood was the other one I was using a bit of. So just to make sure that we've not forgotten anything. Maybe I'll switch those around. That's done. And then around the back, I had this piece that needed work too. And 
Now here I'd like to try to work in a little bit of stone if I can. That usually looks really good next to moss. And then we can potentially have some carpet to help give it an edge. Actually, let's put that underneath here. I'm definitely getting sick of um, accidentally sending off the uh, pressure plates. <laughs> I definitely step on them a little bit too much. Well, there's a button right there. I was going to put a button here, but it's kind of overkill. Where is it? Yeah. I'd like to add a little bit more stone, but where? I guess maybe here. And I don't really have any opportunities for the mangrove, so maybe we can sneak that in here. Would be good to put mangrove roots maybe underneath that. Do I have anything darker? Might be too much, but we'll try it. No, that works. Although I think I'll change the direction because the pressure plate and the mangrove have the wrong, they're fighting. That's better. funny this is why I've never really built a house of my own to to sleep in because like if you do this then like if you put your bed where it's supposed to be you're just always running up really weird narrow staircases to sleep so whenever I'm playing Minecraft I'm always like there's not a lot of RP going on I'm always just having a bed out in the open somewhere to sleep in Yep, I just want to go get some roots, and we're good. And 
and some of this might change a little bit as as this changes. We'll have to see. That might be a little repetitive. Yeah, I'd rather be able to see the path anyway. Well, that to me makes sense. It looks like a bit of a hodgepodge on the map. But I think it makes sense that there'd be... People probably would not go up the stairs and down the stairs. They would probably just cut around it. And we can do other things too with a bush or something else here to help it feel more like a path, like putting a couple bushes on those blocks. So I don't have the bushes right now, but right like that all, all of a sudden feels like it frames that in the background kind of sends you that direction. So let's do that before I forget. these two I think it was those two I think I like those better so we'll do that diorite Whoa. Whoops. Ah, I'm out of mass. Crap. All right. Um, there we go. That works very, very well. I was going to say it was probably a former creeper blast area. No, I think what it is, Cosmic, I remember taking down a good three or four layers off the top of this hill. And I think once we got down to here, we started to hit diorite and granite, if I'm not mistaken. So there's that. That's probably what, what was going on. Sweet. So the only thing we've not finished is the wall over here. And I just need to go get some tough. Uh, the grass and leaves share the dirt sounds, guessing you don't approve of them. No, I don't like the grass sound. The grass sound drives me nuts. It's mostly because we had to clear a lot of grass in the modern city, and I was just getting really irritated by it, so I just decided to swap it. We've got a couple of different things in the resource pack, like quieter ghasts and things like that. How much cobble was I using in this wall? Oh, good amount. Okay. This is where having some walls would also help too.
just want to get the basics. And then we want to trail it off, I guess, just for now, so we can call it relatively finished. Try to crumble it down. Oh, I didn't bring any moss, whoops. Thank you, Cosmic. What is a good location to send everybody? Is uh, Tadpole Milk still streaming? Today flew by. Wow. But we got a lot done. Yeah, Moss is my best friend when it comes to landscaping. I do enjoy it. We could even have bits here that might start to feel like they're coming apart a bit. Oh, pressure plate there is unfortunately going to be a double, double up. So we'll leave that the way that it is. And actually, I'll put that back too. Yeah, that's better. Tadpole's wrapping up. Uh, Azuma, Cub, or Ren are all options. Megabyte is also live. Uh, let's go with uh, Azuma Void. Always a good landing spot. Always a good landing spot. Uh, let's just grab... I think I'm going to put Cobble here. And I want a wall. I never get these right. This is where I should probably uh, put more effort into using that new mod that we've got for putting items. I don't want to put, the problem is I don't want to put um, blocks because the block looks dumb. So. Yeah, that helps that look not quite as broken down. And maybe we'll do a mossy one there. If only could add a label on them. What do you mean? I Yeah. But they are labeled. It's just that I can't tell the difference because they're all the same color. I think the issue that I have is that like the blocks on the shulkers don't look good. Items look okay, but the blocks don't. So then you're trying to de decide like what blocks are in what shelker. The problem is, of course, not all of those things work. Now, something like coral, you could use like the flat coral fans, and then that's going to work out okay. Okay, 
Cool. That, my friends, is a wrap on the West Hill River Inn. And we're going to pass you all along to Exumavoid, streaming from Hermitcraft, as I'm sure you are probably aware. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours. Very easy to uh, clock that in your favorite time zone. Follow on social media at Joel Duggan, and you can also listen to my podcasts, the Citadel Cafe and the Spawn Chunks podcast. Both of them are available wherever you get your podcasts, including YouTube. And I don't plug this often enough. Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube is where you can see all of this. Everything. No cuts. It's all streamed. It's all recorded. It's all archived at Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. So head over there and subscribe. I post a couple times a week. All the VODs from here go up after about 24 hours. They just pop over to YouTube. So if you prefer YouTube, as I do for watching VODs, then uh, check that out because uh, it, uh, it's something you can watch on you know your Xbox, your tablet, whatever. I find the Twitch interfaces for watching VODs pretty sketchy. It's not the most user-friendly experience, whereas YouTube is very, very friendly. So I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, we had a good time today putting in the, uh, the back garden. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And uh, we'll be talking with Mog Swamp on Monday, as far as I know, for the Spawn Chunks podcast. And Mog Swamp is a super flat player, as well as a server member of uh, Minecraft SOS with Pixel Riffs. So uh, we'll be talking to him about all kinds of different stuff, including whatever the news is, the new snapshot, all that kind of stuff. So a lot of work went into this. I'm really happy with it. It was nice to take a break from all the landscaping and do a fun little build. Really happy with the roof gradient, all that kind of stuff. And uh, have I forgotten everything? I think I'm good. Thanks very much to Cosmic for the modding and thanks for the subs, the bits, the support from everyone today. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch if you have a gift sub or if you used a Prime sub, you can join us all in the Discord. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.